Democrats have found a way to beat Trump in 2020. Donald must stop them. A newly surfaced report is blowing estimates out of the water that over 50,000 non-citizens voted in last year's midterms. That's just the tip of the iceberg. And that's just in Texas alone. It might explain why Ted Cruz's race was so shockingly close. But it looks like there might have been a bigger crime on our hands, one sweeping across our entire country and undermining our national democracy. President Trump recently tweeted that tens of thousands voted when they shouldn't have, and now the Judicial Watch president is revealing the number is much bigger. From Rega Voter Tom Fitton the president of the conservative watchdog group Judicial Watch estimates that nearly one million illegal aliens voted in the midterms. Fedden took to Twitter where he responded directly to Trump's tweet, stating, Donald Real Donald Trump is right. I estimate about 900,000 aliens illegally voted in the midterms. At Judicial Watch Tom Fitton is president of Judicial Watch, a whistleblowing group that seeks to expose government corruption. They are currently hunting down documents to bring light to Hillary Clinton's email scandal and how the FBI covered it up. While Fitton doesn't point to any hard evidence, there is weight in what he says, based on what we know. Why do you think Pelosi fought so hard to prevent the wall being funded? She shut down the government withholding pay from 800,000 federal workers. Just so that steady flow of border jumpers can continue to enter America and vote for them. Democrats feverishly oppose voter ID laws that would immediately end voter corruption in most cases. In places like California, they let anyone with a driver's license vote. They also, by the way, give out driver's licenses to border jumpers routinely. Coincidence? Of course not. Democrats want to destroy our democracy by letting anyone vote. Ironic, I know. They have standard to border jumpers just to eke out wins in close elections. They promise free everything from jobs to housing to health care. Also they can be candidates that should be in office. We need nationwide voter ID laws now. Even if Fitton's numbers are just remotely off, it is a growing crisis.